Guys, in this video, I'm going to buy the cheapest possible irons that I can get in my specs from Golf Bidder, then take them out on the golf course and see if we can break par. This is gonna be a load of fun. Now, the most important thing here when you are buying cheap golf clubs is make sure they are in your specs because good value golf clubs aren't necessarily good value unless they work for you, unless they're in your specs. So let's put my screen on your screen now and let's see exactly what we can get. So I'll go filter by price, 10 to 100 pounds. You can see that I've put this in price high to low. Now they look good, 99 pounds. That's about what I was hoping to spend, but are these going to be in my spec? So RRP399, these are the Mizuno Tzoid Comp CTs. Unfortunately, they're in graphite shafts, they're regular, they're no good for me. Let's move on. We're gonna go back here. You can see I've been watching the Ben Foster podcast. Big up Ben Foster podcast, absolutely loving that. Let's keep going. Wilson Pro Staff CGI, Ping G 15s. Oh, Mizuno, they're 195 pounds. They don't seem that cheap. They're in stock, the stiff shaft, three to wedge. That seems like good value for a set of Mizunos, but I think we can do better than that. Let's go back again. I'm gonna go over, oh, it's, it's set price high to low. I'm gonna go over to price low to high so we can get the cheapest possible ones. TaylorMade RAC OS2 irons, 123 pounds. Oh, they're regular. That's, um, that's no good. Callaway X Forged, these regular again. 130 pound though for some Callaway X Forged. By the way, guys, this video is not sponsored. So I'm gonna tell you exactly how this does go down with regards to quality and things like that. Ping I10s, stiff, 130. These could be all right. Now the issue with these, and I've done this before with Ping, they're a blue dot. That's absolutely no good for me. They're upright. If anything, I need standard or flat. So let's move on from there. What's next? What can we get? Yonex? No. They're not the right shafts. Ooh. Now they don't have an image, but RAC LT, they look awesome, 154 pound. Come on, please be stiff, please be stiff. Head condition six, shaft condition six, grip condition six, they look okay to me. Add to basket, get in. These look awesome. No, I do not want to play by Klarna. I will pay up front. And guys, get in the comments below. What am I going to shoot with these tailor-made RAC LT3 to pitching wedge? Because I'm going to give these away at the end of this video, guys. Comment below what am I going to shoot in relation to par. So either put level one over, two over, one under, two under, something like that. Like this video, you have to be a subscriber to the channel. And I'm going to give these away. I'll probably do the draw on Instagram. So put as many guesses in the comments as you like. In fact, no, I'll do the draw on my community tab because I know a lot of you don't like to have to go over to Instagram. Right, um, I think these take a couple of days, so... Uh... As if by magic, you would think this has all been pre-recorded, the irons are here. Now, like I said, this isn't a sponsored video and these got delivered by UPS. UPS were an hour late, that can happen. Guys, this is how the box came. What would you do if you ordered something? Yes, they're only 120 something whatever pounds, but that's how the box came. So I'm hoping that they're all in here. I haven't even looked at them yet because they came this morning, but quite disappointed with, uh, with the box coming like that. So that's not ideal. It looks like they're all here. They actually come in a little bag as well, which is nice. So these are, my cheapest possible irons I could have bought off Golf Bidder in my specs. I think we need to take these to the golf course and see how they do. And so we are here at Woolley Park Golf Club. I have the full set of golf clubs in the bag, tailor-made RAC LTs. And I think these actually look pretty good for the price. I've checked all the faces and the grooves that look pretty good. You can see that perimeter weighting. You can see we've even got a little bit of tungsten weighting, I think that is in the bottom. And I'm feeling a little bit confident today. I'm trying to sneak under par. Remember guys, comment below, what am I gonna shoot with these cheapest possible irons I could have bought in my specs from Golf Bidder. They've got rifle shafts in them. Some of the shafts are a little bit pitted, but the grips are in all right condition. The grips are actually on back to front, which I've always found it weird when people do that, but anyway. Let's get teed off. 
And I think we'll kick things off with the three iron. These do look really good for the price, 155 pound. Right, a little three iron off the first tee. Should do nicely. Remember, these are low trajectory irons. It's a little bit breezy today, so they should work quite nicely. That blade length looks wonderful. Oh, that's perfect. Low fade around the first. Wonderful. So the whole point of this video is just to show you guys that, yes, you can buy golf clubs for a reasonable price. You can come and have fun with them and you can do it in the right specs for you. Because just like I said, back in my office when I was buying these clubs, unless they're in the right specs for you, they're not good value. Because if you buy the totally wrong clubs for you, if you get the wrong shaft, if you get to an extreme point, the wrong lie angle, like I did in the golf clubs for cash secondhand challenge, you're not going to enjoy your golf. You're going to find it way more difficult than it should be. And if you're making it more difficult for yourself, then it's just not good value, is it? Right, I'm not going to have an iron only video here. We are going to use these irons just as though they are the set that I have. We might do an iron only video with them though. Last pocket I look in. We might do an iron only video with them though for 18 holes and see what we can shoot for £155. This is just a nice little gap wedge. See if we can birdie the first and get off to a good start. It's a little bit right actually. Pin high the best shot. Quite unlucky not to take that bank really and get a little bit closer but still a birdie chance on the opening hole. Would you like to see me do this with other clubs, the cheapest putter, the cheapest driver. Do it from other websites, maybe try eBay, try Facebook. Go on then. Get in! Get in! One under. Now, those of you who have little faith in the comments, I want to stick another comment down there. Remember, you've got to be a subscriber to win these irons, 160 pounds and 99 pence worth of them. And chuck a like on this video as well for us, guys. Boost it to as many people as possible because we're trying to get to 200K as soon as possible. It'd be lovely this year, it really would. Second hole, 372 yards. I'm going to change my game plan here. I'm quite excited to hit this three iron again. RAC. LT low trajectory. Can we play another oh, a free tea peg? The day just gets better. Another little stinger. I've hit that so good. Just draw a little bit more. It wasn't a stinger. Sit. Now that's two tee shots in a row, which are absolutely position A for where we want to be. We can only have about 135, 140 in here. I'm going to chip a little nine iron and hopefully this is going to be the right club. Oh, be the club. Be good! Oh, it is as well. Come on. Oh. It was right to left at the end, just more than we thought. That's a par. I'll have that. Not a bad start. So what I think we're going to do is play. There's a loop of a wonderful six holes here at Woolley Park Golf Club, and that should be just enough to properly test this full set of irons. That's what we're going to do. We're one under par through two. Remember, guys, comment below what am I going to shoot with these clubs. First par three of the day, 149 yards. Flags a little bit at the front, actually. I think here what we might do is just go a nice eight iron and hopefully play it just under the wind because there is a little bit of a breeze up there. Definitely not low, but it's online. Go! That's fine. That is fine. Now, turf interaction with these, let's call them cheap second-hand clubs, cheapest we could buy, has been wonderful. I love the shape of the heads. And remember, guys, these are the inspiration behind TaylorMade's new P7 MC irons as well. You can really start to see that in especially the back of them. Just replayed that eight time back to listen to it. Oh. Listen to that. That's kicked on. Oh, it's just hung on. Well, that was very nearly very good. Very nearly. In fairness, proximity to the flag, we've got birdie putts, haven't we? Can't complain with that. Oh. 
close and mother. Ah. You feel like you could haul everything today. Another par. Enjoying this three iron that much, we're going again. It's just a joy. Just a joy. Uh, I think pitching wedge is enough. Nice high one. I'm loving using these. I don't know if it's because they cost what they cost, or because they're maybe even a bit more forgiving than what I'm using. Ah, cut. It wasn't near the trees. That could be the first Miss Green. That is a diabolical shot when you've got all that green to work with. Get in. Big save. Big, big save. One under par, two holes left. Time for big dog. No time for niceties in this video now. Get this down there as far as we can. Hopefully chip a wedge on. Big high draw for this. Just like that. That'll do. We're gonna stick with the RAC LTs and punt it over that bunker and hopefully make another bird. Be the club. Be good. Don't know if that's just a little bit long. Where's my divot gone? This could prove difficult. Couldn't find that divot. It upsets me that as well. On the other hand, that doesn't upset me because I can see a ball peeping over there and that nearly went in. And that's one of Stu's naughty flag positions as well. So, ha! Have that, Stu. Quick word on these irons. Now we're on the fifth and penultimate hole. The versatility is incredible for the price. And I know these were good irons back in the day. Check that out. Yes! I mean, it's wrong side of the flag. Because the next one, if it might be twice as long. But we've been putting good. Come on. Oh no, wasn't enough, wasn't enough. Par, that is a chance gone. For everyone that commented below saying two under par, I apologise because that was a chance. Ah! But for people who commented two under par, one under par, level par, one over par, even two over par, fear not, because there's one hole left and there's every chance that anything could happen. We could go for this green off the tee if the tee's in the right place and the wind's okay. We could lay up, we could make a double, could make an eagle. Stay tuned. Now I really wanted to keep this video about the irons, but the tee's in the perfect position, the wind is perfect, and we're one under par. Sorry. I did say this wasn't gonna be an iron only video. This is part of the set. So the line I want is just to the right of that tallest tree with a little bit of draw. Ah, oh, draw! Draw! It's trying. It's not ideal. Not ideal. But that's the thing for me on holes like this. As long as you don't hit it miles wide or miles right, miles left or miles wide like I first said, you can still score. We've still got a chance here. This is a chip and a putt at best. Maybe a pitch. Oh, that flag is literally in the worst position ever to have missed the green right. You can see what I mean? Hmm. Go on. Oh, good bounce. Go. Uh, stop, stop. Chance. We have a put on the final hole for two under par. Two puts for one under par. We'll not talk about three puts, but guys, get in the comments below. Guess what it's going to be. You can still guess now. Throw a like on the video and subscribe. You're in the chance of winning these irons. I know they're not expensive, but they might be sentimental if this goes in. Two under.
Oh, <laughs> yes! That is two under par with a set of golf clubs that cost me £160.99 from Golf Bidder. The cheapest I could have possibly bought. Guys, smash that subscribe button. Comment below 200 if you want, if you want to win. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!